when I first encountered this patient with the decentered PMMA lens in the sulcus, my first intuition was that the lens had to be removed and replaced with possibly an iris sutured lens. After viscoelastic placement, I rotated the lens out of the sulcus into the anterior chamber in a fairly easy maneuver. And in fact, I found that the lens was completely normal in all respects. Realizing this, my next attention was turned to the capsular bag. And with a puff of viscoelastic, the anterior capsule was liberated from the surface of the posterior capsule. And this opening was extended 360 degrees. Amazingly, after several months, it opened rather easily, and indeed, there seemed to be no laxity to the capsular bag. With such a small and decentered capsularexis, it was difficult to place the lens into the capsular bag at this point, so with the snip of the edge, I enlarged this capsulotomy to accommodate this lens more easily. As the original capsulotomy was decentered, an asymmetric enlargement was needed, and in the thinner area of the tear, uh, it was helpful to grasp more closely to the edge of the tear. Now, as the patient has moved some during this uh, surgery, some additional viscoelastic helps to gain more control of direction of the tear at this point. And now that I have a larger complete capsulotomy, the lens is rotated out of the anterior chamber and into the capsular bag. It appeared relatively centered at first, and then once viscoelastic was removed, it was apparent that this was not the case. So under additional viscoelastic, a manual placement of a capsular tension ring was performed. I prefer this method as it gives me more control. And now the lens is re-rotated and centers nicely. And once the viscoelastic is removed again, we can see the lens remains nicely centered.